If you're in a smaller band or a solo artist and you have the desire to walk into any venue and have a consistent front of house sound, consistent in-ear sound, uh, have the ability to send tracks from Ableton Live uh, with an audio interface and have a MIDI controller that can control Ableton Live. And best of all, you have control over all of that and it's always consistent. Then you need to buy a digital mixer. Now for this video, I'm going to show you how to use a digital mixer like the X32 to create a self-contained setup that's going to function for all those needs. Front of house console, monitor in-ear setup, uh, an audio interface for Ableton Live, as well as a MIDI controller for Ableton Live. So uh, let's talk about how to make this happen. For the sake of this video, I'm using the X32 rack. I think this is a great solution, particularly in a self-contained setup because this can hang out on stage um, and uh, be right next to me and I can leave it racked up. If you're using Mac minis or something like that to run tracks on, then you can rack those uh, right next to your X32 console as well too. Now into my X32 console, I'm going to plug all my physical connections for my microphones, my guitars, um, and I'm going to use my X32 as my mixing uh, console. Now, what's great with the X32 is you can download the X32 edit software uh, on your computer. You can download the X32 app on your iPhone or iPad, and you basically get a mixing uh, surface that you can uh, mix your entire show from uh, without having physical faders. Now, if you have an X32 that has physical faders, you could also mix your show uh, from there, which is great. So we plugged all our physical connections into uh, our X32. Um, how are we going to hear it? We need some way to set up in-ears. Well, with a console like the X32, in particular the X32, we could set up and use a P16 personal mixer. The only thing that's connected from here uh, to from this P16 to my X32 is an ethernet cable. And I went from my P16 uh, to my Behringer X32 connected to the ultranet port. Uh, and that is giving me 60 16 channels on this P16 for me to mix my own personal mix. Uh, I can plug in a cable here to plug my headphones in. You can see that. And then I also have the ability to link out of here to additional P16 uh, mixers for every single person in the band and they get their own in-ear mix from this, which is really, really cool. Uh, so the P16 is a great solution. Just an ethernet cable power adapter allows us to get that set up. Uh, if that's too much for you, then what you could do is you could use something like the Behringer P1 uh, that has two inputs to it, and you could connect this uh, to outputs on your console. So in particular, the Behringer X32 rack, I'm looking at it right here, has eight outputs. So we could connect uh, and do four stereo mixes. Uh, we could do mono mixes from that if we needed to, to use more of those mixes. But we could connect that P uh, Behringer P1 um, to our console. And then we have this headphone connection here that we could plug our in-ears into. Uh, and then we could use uh, one of the Behringer apps that allows us to uh, mix on our iPhone. So you could physically pull up your iPhone, uh, your Android device, and you could mix your in-ears from your phone uh, and set up uh, essentially individual in-ear mixes for each member of the band, which is really, really cool. Now we've got our physical inputs connected, like our microphone, our guitar, but we want to use Ableton Live. How do we get Ableton Live connected to our X32. Well, with Ableton Live open, uh, I have my computer sitting right next to my X32. Again, maybe I've got it racked up and it's uh, in the rack with me. Uh, and I've got it connected to my X32 via a USB cable. I can go into Ableton Live, command comma, go to the audio tab, and under audio output device, I can choose X USB, which is gonna give me 32 channels out of Ableton Live into my X32 console, uh, which again is incredibly, incredibly powerful. So I can send all my tracks from Ableton Live um, into my X32 and have full control uh, of those tracks as individual inputs uh, that can go to my in-ears and it can go to front of house. Now I talked about a MIDI controller. What's great is I ha have something available for purchase or free uh, for free for from studio stage students uh, called my X32 control cues template. And you can use this template to automate every fader on your console, uh, mutes on your console, pans on your console, as well as change scenes on your X32. So what's really cool about this is you could go beforehand in rehearsal, take a week, dedicate a week in rehearsal to create a perfect mix for every single one of your songs, save that as a scene. And then you can use this X32 control cues template to call up those scenes based on what song that you're in. And you could use one of these fader automations here to say, okay, at this part of the song, I want my uh, guitar, electric guitar just to go up for a solo. 
then I want to fade it back down. You can automate all of that in Ableton Live alongside of your songs. So as you press play, you're sending tracks. You're also sending MIDI automation from your computer to your console. Now, if you're using a X32 with physical faders, um, then there are multiple ways that you can use your X32 as a MIDI controller with Ableton Live. You could put it in DAW remote mode, which will actually sync its faders and its uh, mute um, uh, with Ableton Live. So as you adjust things there, you can adjust those in Ableton Live. Uh, that's a possibility. You could also use the assign function of the X32 to control Ableton Live and uh, basically create a custom MIDI controller that you always have access to, which is great. Uh, you could also send MIDI commands when you change cues on your X32. So when you go to the scene for song two, it pulls up tracks for song two, and then you could use your assign to press play so that you can press play and navigate that. Uh, and then you can also send MIDI from individual faders. So you can move a fader on your X32 that maybe turns up a vocal and also opens a filter uh, in a auto filter. So there's a lot of possibilities with that. Now, if the dream of all this sounds too good to be true, don't worry, it's not. Um, but I put together a full course that shows you how to set up and use the X32 with Ableton Live, both to send audio to the X32, uh, to send MIDI to the X32 from Ableton, and to receive MIDI from the X32 into Ableton. If you want to check that out, then you've got to become a From Studio to Stage student. And in order to do that, you could click the link in the description of this video or head to fromstudiotostage.com slash subscribe. Fromstudiotostage.com slash subscribe. Again, check the link in the description of this video if you want to go directly there. And when you subscribe, you'll get access to this X32 course. You'll get access to uh, credits that you can use to purchase this X32 control cues uh, template completely for free. But in addition to that, you'll get over 50 other courses where I show you how to control things with Ableton Live, how to take things to control Ableton Live, um, how to use all of your gear on stage to perform with Live, how to use tracks in Ableton Live on stage in a way that's efficient, flex flexible, and stable, and so much more. In addition to that, when you subscribe, uh, like I mentioned, you get 200 credits each month as a student that you can use in the shop to download for free. And there's even additional ways uh, before the credit the month rolls over to get even more credits to purchase more things for free. You get access to the exclusive community where you can ask questions and engage with the fellows uh, from Studio Stage students. Um, you can get access to exclusive discounts like Ableton Live, uh, in-ears, um, audio interfaces, MIDI controllers, all sorts of things in the uh, community. And then probably my my favorite thing, you get access to a monthly call where every single month, all the students and myself get together. You can ask any question you want uh, and you get access access to that as a From Studio Stage student. Now, if you hear all that and it sounds interesting, but you're not ready to commit quite yet, then I want to encourage you to head to fromstudiotostage.com slash free. I've got a bunch of free resources there that you can download, you can get access to, um, and uh, it's going to help you get up and running uh, really, really quickly. So everything from click tracks, guide cues, uh, to time code files, to MIDI commands that you can use to control different things, you're going to find all of that there completely for free. And those resources were created from resources that cost hundreds of dollars, but they're completely free to you. Now, if you hear that and go, Will, man, it sounds interesting, but I'm just not sure if I'm there yet, then I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. It's completely free. You can hit the subscribe button. Uh, and when you do that, uh, I would also encourage you to hit the bell icon. And here's why. I post a new video every single day, not once a week, every single day. So I'm going to dive deep on showing you how to use Ableton Live, um, how to use your gear with Ableton Live, and how to use Ableton Live with your gear. So you don't want to miss any of that. So make sure you hit that bell icon as well. And if you're not willing to do that, then what are you willing to do? I don't know. I've run out of options. I've given you as many options as I possibly can. But hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks for sticking around. Um, I enjoy in interacting and interfacing with this community every single day with this content. Uh, if you haven't yet, become a student. It, it's even better in the community. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye.